But hello, welcome everybody. It's so funny. I've been taking so much, you know what, for like the hello when I do this. And it's like just this thing that I do that is like so natural for me. But it, I guess, I don't know if it's kind of like the signature thing that I do to start things out, that hello. Um, anyway, but I've been taking a lot of, like I said, a lot of you know what lately as people are like, they see me, they're like, hello. <laughs> so I get teased a lot about it, but I think it's kind of a fun way to start things off. So hi, Dawn, how are you? Welcome, I'm glad you can join us today. So hopefully everybody had a good week. We had some amazing spring weather around here. Hey Susie, hello, welcome. So yeah, this whole week starting, I don't know, was it last weekend, maybe Easter Sunday? I don't know, the weather's just been amazing. It's not going to be so good this weekend, I don't think, but we're not even worried about that. We've got lots of fun stuff to play with today. I have so much to share with you guys. I'm like, I've got to get it all in because I have class this afternoon at one o'clock. So I got to be done in time to get to class on time too. So yeah, so but yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys have all had a good couple of weeks. Hopefully you had a great Easter. Hey, Nikki. Hello, Deb. Thanks for hanging out with me today, ladies. Um, so yeah, this week we are actually, um, Stampin' Up! is really putting um, a big focus on our kits. Um, so we have kits in our current annual catalog and they just kind of let us know that they're actually not going to feature kits in our next annual catalog that starts the beginning of May because they want to offer even more kits. So basically the kit kind of selection is only going to be online. I think so that then they're not tied into, you know, we, we have these four or five kits for the whole catalog year. Basically they're going to feature kits and they're going to be online and when they sell out then they're going to have more kits. Um, so there's always going to be something fun and new and exciting um, to kind of check out in terms of the kit making. So included in kind of kits and kit making is Paper Pumpkin. And I, like so very many of you, subscribe to Paper Pumpkin and then get, what, what do you call that, like the red box pile up where there's like Paper Pumpkin box after Paper Pumpkin box that's gotten piled up. So I have decided <clears throat> at least once a month or you know as often as i can sneak it in i'm going to show you guys the paper pumpkin kits because they are awesome so this week that's what we're going to do i'm going to show you so we are what is this early april so i'm going to show you the march kit because you have actually until april 10th which is tomorrow to subscribe to paper pumpkin to get the april kit and it'll come like mid april and so sometime end april beginning of may i'll show you the the april paper pumpkin kit but this one was really awesome kind of some masculine looking cards in there i would say which we can always use more of right they're not generally as like pretty and frilly so i think we're not as drawn to them but you know we all have guys in our life that we need to like make and send cards and give cards to right so i'm going to show you guys that um, paper pumpkin kit in a little bit and talk a little bit more about the whole kind of kit thing um i will tell you let me make sure i have my catalog yep right here so <clears throat> kind of to give that shout out to the retiring lists which are kind of in full swing things are selling out hello sharon um i know many of the in color products have already sold out so hopefully you guys all got what you wanted in those in colors um but so for example all of the kits in our current annual catalog are retiring as well so for example i just want to show you guys then a few weeks ago i think i actually featured this the simply no i didn't not the simply citrus it, i love this one too i actually had this on display down at the stamp studio for a long time but this is a super cute kit like fun bright um fruity kit right with lots of great kind of summertime colors so this simply citrus card kit is retiring um and actually you can see so those are the cards finished cards and then that's kind of all of the stuff that you get in um, the Simply Citrus card kit. This happens to be an all-inclusive one where they give you the stamp set and the ink, everything that you need other than adhesive to put the cards together. Then we have this guy down here that is called the Looking Up card kit. That's another all-inclusive card kit that gives you everything including the stamp set and the ink included in there. And then we have one of my favorites, this gorgeous posies i gotta scoot over on this side here so i can show you guys so the gorgeous posies kit so and it actually comes with this beautiful box too so great um kit in there now this one is a little bit different because you actually buy the stamp set separately so that's kind of what i'm showing right there and then you do need those four ink pad colors so that one's a little less 
I guess, all-inclusive, I'd say. So that that's maybe for somebody that already has some stuff. Or, I mean, it still makes a great gift because it is, it is beautiful. You could get this kit and make all of the cards and give them in the cute box that it comes in. You can kind of see the box. That's the top of the box. But all of the cards, I think it's 16 cards, they all fit in that box also. Um, and then we have something called the Boho Indigo uh, Product Medley, which is basically a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and then no actual projects um, already designed. I'm sure there are a million ideas out there now, but this is kind of an example of projects that you could make. And then there's the stamp set and all of the stuff that comes in that product medley. So that's kind of a whole like shebang of lots of good stuff. Um, and I think that's it. So I guess kind of my point is twofold, right? To tell you all of these kits in the current annual catalog are retiring. So if you love them, if you think there's somebody that would enjoy, especially those first two are great like starter kits, the Simply Citrus card kit and that Looking Up card kit. Those are great for like brand new people that have never really paper crafted or stamped before because it gives them everything that they need, um, you know, to put the projects together. The others are a little less inclusive, all inclusive. So maybe it's somebody that's got a little bit of stuff, um, but I think they're all great gift ideas. Or it's just fun, like if you're camping or going on vacation and you know you're gonna have a little downtime, maybe there's a rainy day, you know, these kits are great to just like throw in your car, in your um, suitcase, just to have is like something to do um, on some downtime too because everything is in there all ready to go and it gives you directions on how to put everything together too um, so actually maybe I will kind of highlight because where where is that catalog though <laughs> it's buried because I have it open hold on I'm gonna grab another catalog because I don't want to lose my place um, on the one catalog that I have. Hi, <laughs> Lori, I love this. Hello, Stampers. <laughs> I love that, it's so cute. All right, um, one sec, one sec. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm trying to remember where the kits are. I think, is it gonna tell me? I think they're right in the beginning of the catalog. Yeah, here we go. So this beautiful Hello Dear card kit is another one that you can order. And that's another, when they show the kind of corner of the box, it's an all-inclusive kit. So you get a box with all the stuff in it, the stamp set right there, and then the ink to make your projects. You can kind of see all of that right down there. And then this is the one, I knew I had shown one a couple weeks ago, the You Are Amazing Project Kit. And this is another fun one that comes with that cool turquoise box. So all the cards fit in the box. You do need the stamp set and um, the ink. So this one's not quite as all-inclusive. Um, they just kind of do like a variety of kits, I guess, basically. And that's it. Yeah, because this one, oh, there's the product medley, the flowering cactus product medley that gives you all kinds of stuff. So you get the stamp set, um, you get some designer series paper, and I don't even know what else because I don't have this one. Maybe some dyes even. Do I see dyes in there? Yeah, it looks like there are dyes in there too. Yeah, so an awesome, that's one though that you have to kind of use your own creativity or look up online on Pinterest, uh, YouTube, wherever to get some ideas because I don't think they give you actual product or project ideas in the product medleys. But kits are an amazing way to go, especially, like I said, brand new people, people that don't think they're creative. These are great kind of starting points for you. So something to keep in mind, all right? Okay, um, so kind of just a quick reminder too, last chance lists are out. Um, many, many, many things from our current annual catalog are retiring. I know some things have sold out. If you haven't put your order in yet, there are lots of things on big, deep discount too. So lots of things on sale. So get this stuff while you can. I say it all the time. I always have people that will now will contact me in May and want to order out of this catalog and things are retired and they can't get them any longer. So don't let that be you, right? Don't let that happen to you. Get what you want from the catalog while you still can, okay? Um, let's see. Oh, um, let's do our first drawing because I have so much I want to um, share with you guys. So first drawing is for 
the pastel pearls, these beautiful pearls. And you can't even see, there are some kind of pale pink pearls in there too. We've got a light purple, kind of, a, I don't know if this is seaside mist or a gray, and then a darker purple, but beautiful set of pearls. And these are carrying over, so I'm super excited about that. So how do you get your name in the drawing to win those pearls? You either share the Facebook Live video or sign up for my email list if you haven't done that already. So your name is in here. We had lots of shares, um, especially because I went um, an extra week I had kind of I had hoped to be able to do Facebook live last Friday and then it was just not in the card so I apologize things just got super crazy as they seem to do so yeah and so what then I was like ooh, if I didn't do it last week I have to do it this week but I've been kind of trying to not do Facebook live on the same week that I have class because um, that gets kind of nutty too but it is what it is I'm here I'm doing it we are ready to go we're having fun and we'll have a great time at class this afternoon too. So, okay, here we go. The winner of the pastel pearls is Miss Debbie Green. All right, can you guys see? There we go, that funny glare. So Debbie, I will get your pearls sent out to you. Congratulations. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Let me get those ready for the next one. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, I will be giving away, I think, let me make sure. I always have to check my notes. I have it right here, so I'm assuming this is what I'm giving away. You know, I figured this out last night, and it's amazing how, like, your brain, <laughs> you can't remember very well somehow. So, okay, yeah, so this is the Blushing Bride. I'm trying to, like, get it in the, so you guys can see. It's like a shimmery, um, is it a shimmer or metallic? It is metallic. I was going to say metallic, and then that sounded not right. But, yeah, so I feel like there's, like, a, yeah, like I'm super orange and glowing over here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like trying to find the right spot where I don't look orange and glowing and I'm not sure I can find it. Anyway, so, okay, the um, Blushing Bride Metallic Ribbon, this is what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live. It is retiring. I think all the products in that um, kind of Valentine Heart Suite that are in the um, uh, mini catalog are retiring. So get those things, get this ribbon while you still can if you don't win it, right? We will draw, so make sure you share the video. I love your shares. I so appreciate you sharing this video. That is how I reach new friends, especially in your crafting groups, your Facebook crafting groups that you're part of. I truly appreciate, because that, you know, there's like this whole world of crafting people, right, that are in those groups that hopefully would love to hang out with us on Fridays at 11.30 and stamp with us, right? So yeah, share the Facebook Live video, and if you have not yet, oh my gosh, how could you not have, but if you have not signed up for my email list, go ahead and do that. You get a free tutorial, and your name goes in the drawing to win that Blushing Bride ribbon, okay? So let's see what else, what else? Let me show you. So um, we had our uh, celebration celebration event. So this is something that I do basically as a thank you for your business during celebration. Um, if you ordered at least like $150 during celebration, which was back like January, February, if you bought the starter kit during celebration, or if you hosted a private party or class, you got your, um, you earned your spot at the celebration celebration. So we had that on Monday this week. Um, people that couldn't come, I mailed everything out to them, all their, their make and takes, their gift, um, prizes. Um, so I wanted to show you guys the fun stuff, the projects that we made and the gift that I made everybody and then the prize that everybody got too. So, um, and I apologize, I did not, because I, was, I wasn't even thinking I was gonna show you this stuff. Um, so both of these cards were cased on Pinterest, I did not come up with them on my own, or maybe for the most part didn't. I might have tweaked things a little bit, but I didn't write down who I cased them from, so I apologize. But if you search on Pinterest, I'm sure you can find this card. Um, so this is with the Hydrangea Haven suite of products. So we've got the designer series paper and then the stamp set. And can you see, so there's a die. It actually is not that labor intensive. Although maybe I shouldn't say that because Cade was the one that cut all the little flowers out. But there's like a strip of flowers. I think maybe, I don't know, eight or nine or 10 flowers all on this one strip. So you put the strip right on the, the um, Highland Heather cardstock and then it die cuts all of those little flowers all at once. So can you see, kind of get the idea there? So I stamped it 
And then we added the flowers to kind of give it some texture and dimension. And then same thing with the um, leaves too. We stamped those and then we die cut them and overlaid them also. So hello, Susan, welcome. So yeah, this beautiful card was one of our make and takes that we made um, at our celebration celebration this week. Or if you earned your spot and weren't able to come or are long distance, these are on, your, on the way to you. Okay, so then as I mentioned, we always need more masculine cards. So we did a masculine card because I haven't really used this designer series paper, which might be from the well suited suite. I did not write that down either. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I think I think that might be it. But anyway, so there's some kind of masculine designer series paper in there, and I really hadn't played with it very much. So pulled that out. Um, just did a little simple happy birthday um, with that um, amazing you stamp set too, which I love, right? And then hip hip hooray, three cheers for you, right? Happy birthday. So just kind of a simple masculine card, and then with some of those black matte dots which I think might be carrying over also into the next catalog. So yeah, so those were the two make and takes that we made. And then I made this cute little um, treat box that says wildly grateful with the little um, bloom punch. This little baby punch is retiring. So make sure you get that if you don't have that already. This is one of those awesome, like just when you when your card needs just a little something else and maybe a flower is like what it's called for, right? You can punch one or two or three of these out, just kind of give it a little bit of, again, that texture and dimension with that little um, small bloom punch. So in this case, and we'll see how well this is, like a belly band that just slips off and it's this simple little box that opens up right and then i put some chocolate inside so the kind of cool part about it is you can open it up you can eat the chocolate i always love to re-gift these things then you could maybe put something else in it those Ghirardelli chocolates fit perfect that just to kind of give you an idea of size um, those fit perfectly in here also so that's kind of the size of the box um, so you could always slip something else in there and re-gift it to somebody else or just keep it and enjoy it. And I know, um, so way back when, now I did a, um, a YouTube video on how to make this box. It might be a Valentine theme, I'm trying to remember because it's, it's a little while ago. But if you go to my YouTube channel at gatheringinspiration.com, so ink with a K, inspiration, you will find um, the video on how to make this too with all the dimensions and kind of step-by-step -step how to do it because it's really, really simple. So what I've kind of found is there are certain boxes that I absolutely love, so like once a year or so, I pull the little box out and I'm like, oh, I want to make that box again. And then we just change it to whatever theme we need it. And then this one, it happened to be that um, fine art floral designer series paper, which I love and blue and yellow, kind of one of my favorite color combinations right there too. Think maize and blue and U of M ladies, right? So yeah, so everybody got that little treat and then the little prize everybody got. And this was like a super duper awesome prize because, and I didn't even realize it, this paper, the um, Butterfly Bayou Designer Series paper is already sold out. So everybody got a quarter of a pack of the paper and then a half a pack of the in-color enamel dots that are retiring. So I had originally thought, oh, I'm gonna show everybody this paper and they'll fall in love with it and they'll wanna order more. Well, bummer, it already sold out before we even like what it sold out so quickly so i was kind of bummed about that but then on the flip side everybody gets some of this paper that maybe didn't get it otherwise so get a little sample of the paper and a sample of those in color enamel dots so those are my little thank you items for um, supporting my business anytime right but celebration is always a great time you guys always get great incentives to order too right because you get free stuff with every 50 dollars order as well so Okay, um, let's do our other drawing. Then the other drawing is for the Hooray to You stamp set. So if you're new to Facebook Live, you don't know this yet, I draw every single um, Facebook Live. I put your name in a drawing. If you spend at least $30 through me and use my monthly host code, I will give you that host code in just a little bit. It's also always on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. And it's also like in the details to this um, Facebook Live video, I always have to like point. So up above, there are always a bunch of details. One of them gives you the host code, so you can always find it there too. I try to make it super user friendly so you can always find the host code. Anyway, order through me, spend at least $30 and your name goes in the weekly Facebook live drawing. In this case, it was the Hooray to You stamp set, this super cute little birthday stamp set. And I had another thing open. Oh, it's over here. I'm like, and then it closed up, but no, it didn't. It's right here. <clears throat> so this is another little 
um, kind of starter kit brochure that we have, but it's kind of fun because it shows you the stamp set. And then can you guys see here are some great ideas with that Hooray to You stamp set. Super simple stamping. Um, I think they basically say, if you get the stamp set, you need a clear block and then the Whisper White note cards and envelopes. And then they um, actually use the 2020-2022 um, in color my connection. There we go. That's kind of weird. That doesn't happen very often. Okay, but we're back. Sorry about that. And then um, they also use the magenta madness on all the flowers all around there too. So then that's what they did with all of these was they just um, inked up their stamps with their markers. So they have five different colors of ink to choose from right there. So cute, simple, the little note cards, they're like three and a half by five. I say little, they're not, you know, they're smaller than our standard card size, but super cute. I love how they did this too. It's almost like music notes. It looks like where is that? I'm looking at it backwards. So this right here, they just used the strings on the bottom of the balloon. Isn't that cute how they just stamped those on there too? Just kind of, it's all like confetti it kind of looks like. So fun ideas there for you if you happen to win the Hooray to You stamp set. You also are receiving the projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, which was these two beautiful cards with the umbrella stamp set drawing a blank on the name of that one pretty parasol maybe i think um yeah so you got these two cards for sure if you bumped your order up to 50 dollars, you get to pick from the demo design dream team pdf tutorial the april tutorial includes my most favorite i love this is the card that i made and put in the tutorial so that's in here as well as uh, 15 other projects so i'll kind of flip through here it's all in color lots and lots of detail telling you how to put everything together you guys are kind of seeing right what we got going here yeah a little bit anyway so yes yeah, fun lots of great projects and just all the detail that you need colors dimensions item codes everything that you need to order what you need to make the projects and actually how to make them too okay so you got to pick from either that or the free embellishment which in march was the champagne rhinestones and in april is now the pastel pearls so depending on when you put your order in right you can pick from the free embellishment uh, from march free embellishment or april free embellishment depending on the timing or the pdf tutorial <coughs> i knew that was coming <coughs> <coughs> Okay, excuse me one sec. Mm. I need my sip of water here. <coughs> okay, hopefully that'll do it. If not, I'm gonna have to find like a candy cane. <laughs> I always have those mints around just in case because <coughs> it's feeling like it might not leave me. Okay, we'll see. I'm gonna just hope and pray that it <laughs> does go away. Um, so let's do our drawing, right? Okay, so names are in here. If you ordered using the host code, we are now drawing for the Hooray to You, the Hooray to You stamp set. Okay, here we go. The lucky winner of this stamp set is Miss Kathy Hilliard. All right, congratulations, Kathy. She's been so um, good. She's ordered, I think, like every single week because I'm laughing. I'm like, I feel like she's won maybe two or three times in a row. So congratulations, Kathy. But consistent ordering helps make your odds even better of winning. So I will get that Hooray to You stamp set um, sent out to you, Kathy. Love such a cute little stamp set and those flowers. I think I showed you those before. I just love those little baby flowers because I think you can always just stamp those. Whenever you need a little something else, you grab your little small balloon punch or you grab the stamp set and just add those little flowers too. That was super cute. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, I'm going to give away, this is one of my all-time favorite stamp sets. And I know part of it is well, part of it is the sentiments that are in the stamp set and part of it is how they wrote them. And it really takes me back. I think like one of the very first stamp sets that I ever got through Stampin' Up looked very similar to this. So I'm like building up the excitement here, right? So it is the Lovely You stamp set. Came out in our annual catalog last year, but this is like the go-to stamp set for me um, when I need a nice sentiment. So for example, I used that Wildly Grateful right there on that little treat box you can see right there right oops in the glare that wildly grateful right so philomena hi there you are sorry to be late it's no problem i know i'm usually like day late dollar short for most everything in life so don't feel bad i i completely understand so okay so back to sentiments we've got and i'm gonna have to like 
read them to you because there's no way I can do this backwards. But what I also, I think I was starting to say what I love is that mixing of fonts. So we've got like the cursive font and then the um, scripty font. I love kind of that um, combination of both of them. This one's fun too, You're My Person. Love that also, right? Okay, so let me read them all to you because there are so many good ones in here. Love is what makes us family, miles apart but still in my heart, cherished friend, trust me, you're lovely, smile, let's cheer you up, I like that one, heartfelt, wildly grateful, you're my person, just because and always. And then some beautiful floral imagery, which honestly I barely even used. Um, a friend of mine came over a couple weeks ago and used the stamp set and did some really fun things with um, that little floral imagery on some scrapbook pages. And I was like, oh, I like that. So I had to take pictures so I can remember to maybe use that at some point. Because I'm so like stuck on the sentiments on this set that I haven't even really played with the flowers in it much yet. But anyway, so this is what your name will go in the drawing on our next Facebook Live to win the lovely you stamp set if you put an order in of at least $30. You'll also get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate in just a couple minutes because man I feel like I've been talking a lot. Um, let me check my notes because I think we are in a pretty good place. Yeah <clears throat> I think we can turn the we can flip the camera down. I'm flipping around I'm like looking around here trying to make sure but yeah I think we are good. So let's do that. I have one other thing I want to show you guys. Um, before we do our stamping. So turn your heads away for a sec. We're flying through the air. Okay, here we go. They're mowing the lawn across the street. I can hear it. Hopefully you guys can't. Let's see. Because yeah, it's that time of year now, right? That you got to get your lawnmower out. I need to get mine tuned up first before I... <laughs> before I do anything else. Okay, so let me give you, we have a new host code. This is the April host code. So I wanna make sure everybody knows this. Thank you for sharing the video, uh, Philomena. I appreciate that so much. Okay, so here's our host code then. <coughs> this is when you know you've talked too much, when you keep coughing. The VXEX2AED. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> so let me show you my next class to go. Ladies, I am totally in love with these projects. Okay, so <clears throat> I am calling this actually the Wonderful As You class to go because it features the Wonderful As You stamp set, which is, it's just a great stamp set with some sentiments that I think we can always use. Um, you know, not all the time, but I think it's kind of one of those that are great to kind of have in your back pocket when you need a sentiment like, may your comeback be bigger than your setback. It's hard to say goodbye. I know this is a tough day. Just know that I'm here for you. Um, let's see, sending positive thoughts. We've got miss you and to someone as wonderful as you, right? And then some cute imagery here too with a little cabbie like, you know, it's hard to say goodbye as somebody's like leaving. Keep thinking of my kids going off to college when I look at this sentiment. Not, you know, it's hard to say goodbye. I mean, it's not like totally goodbye, right? It's just like see you later. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm going to be able to use this stamp set a lot. Miss you for sure when my kids are gone in college, right? So great stamp set. Let me show you the cards and I'll tell you the different um, options that are available. So you guys know we always make four cards. We're going to make two of each of them. So you get eight projects total in the class to go, right? So we've got this first one that it's hard to say goodbye. We've got sending positive thoughts. We've got miss you and may your comeback be bigger than your setback with kind of a fun fold there too, right? So those are the four cards. Um, you also, well, I'll just, let's just talk about what. Option number one, <laughs> I'm always like, what do I, how do I wanna do this? Option number one gets you the wonderful is you stamp set, a full package of pastel pearls, a full bolt of the gorgeous grape. I love, 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 love this ribbon. And you get a quarter of a pack, and I've used all of my paper and need to order more, but this um, Hydrangea Hill Designer Series paper, kind of zoom in there. A quarter of a pack means a six by 12 piece, which is right here. So this is six by 12 of one of the patterns 
in the designer series paper, okay? So that's option number one, the stamp set, the pearls, the ribbon, the quarter pack of designer series paper. We actually get the paper for free in option number one, plus all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these projects and the PDF tutorial that tells you exactly how to do that. So option number one is $50. Okay. Option number two is if you already have the wonderful use stamp set or you want to use different sentiments. You can see how easy it would be to just pop other sentiments on each of those um, projects. Hey, Amy. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Okay. So option number two includes the pearls, the ribbon, the quarter pack of designer series paper, and again, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these projects. Option number two is $31. <clears throat> Okay, so option number one and option number two, ship priority mail if you need that shipped to you for an additional $9 shipping fee. Um, I think that's it for those two, right? Option number three is if you just want the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put all the projects together. It gives you item codes, colors, dimensions, everything you need to do it on your own. That PDF tutorial is $15. It's always available even after the RSVP deadline passes. And if you're a current Inkspired stamper, one of my team members, you get that PDF tutorial for free every single month. You can get those for free. Okay. Option number four is also for my downline. Any of my Inkspired stampers, they can get all the parts and pieces to do the make and takes for just $12. They still get their own stamp set, use their own demo ID um, to get their discount on their stamp set too. Okay. Um, RSVPs are due by Friday, April 23rd. So what is that? A couple weeks from right around the ninth. So two weeks from today is the RSVP deadline. And then the kits will ship out no later than May 5th. Okay. So let me know if you have any questions on this class to go. If you're interested, I'd love to get you signed up. The cards are beautiful. It's the paper too. That is what totally makes these projects, I think. Okay. So ladies, are we ready to do some stamping? I think so. Because I think I've talked about everything. Okay, you know me, I just have to check my notes for a quick sec here. But yeah, I think we're good. Let me grab my grid paper too. <clears throat> okay, so I don't know how many of you already subscribed to Paper Pumpkin or if there are many of you that have kind of always wondered about Paper Pumpkin. Um, or honestly, if you have Paper Pumpkin, this would be a great time to grab your Paper Pumpkin kit. This is the Paper Pumpkin kit we're gonna be working on. It is called the Here's to You. This is our March 2021 kit. So I just kind of want to, I'm like, like I said, I didn't know how many of you had even like seen a Paper Pumpkin kit, um, watch any of the unboxing, but it's fun to kind of, I tried to put it back um, as if I was just opening it. Sorry, and I've already kind of hit the mount, right? But this is kind of your experience if you, maybe I'll turn it this way so we can open it up a little bit more. If you order a Paper Pumpkin kit, it looks a little bit better uh, normally because it's not already open, but you kind of get the idea, right? So you get a stamp set. We've got some um, mini dimensionals, some twine. You always get a little ink spot. And then all of the parts and pieces to make your projects are in here too. So we'll kind of open this up. Okay, so that's kind of the first idea. We're going to scoot this out of the way. And I'm going to show you <clears throat> the projects because I think they are beautiful, right? So we've got this little happy birthday card that again, I think um, can be um, more masculine if you need it to be, right? And then we've got this here's to you, right? And I think I, yeah, I did stamp those flowers on the inside also. And then love the, um, these are kind of a craft envelope then with the liners in them too. And the other fun thing is they always post alternative projects, things that, you know, um, beyond these couple of cards that you can make. Um, so for example, I've seen where they use this envelope liner and they cut it and use it as designer series paper and it's beautiful too so okay let me kind of let me kind of get this stuff here let's see okay so we're going to scoot these out of the way and we've got our little calypso curl i did not open this because a lot of times what i'll do is um, i'll make a, up a couple projects and then i end up selling my paper pumpkin kits um, later once um, they're retired um, so i like to keep this intact so i am going to grab my Calypso Coral ink pad. 
we go. All right, so I've got that one and then on my stamps there, I think that's everything I needed for this. So, okay, so this is the idea. I already mounted a bunch of the stamps that we're gonna use on my clear blocks. I'm just gonna pull this guy out. And then, so this is what you do is you just grab a couple of envelopes. We'll do those. So here are the envelope liners. The colors are beautiful, aren't they? Philomena. Yeah. And again, I, you know, they they can go feminine or masculine. I think obviously that floral might be a little more um, feminine than masculine. And then these are all pre-cut, pre kind of perforated. The one thing I will tell you is to make sure to do your stamping while they're still on here, because it's really hard to, you know, kind of line things up once you're flitting around with that teeny tiny little piece. So we're going to keep these guys right on here. We are going to kind of just punch out um, one of each of these things right now. So you can see we've got enough to make four of each of these. <clears throat> so I made one, we're gonna make another one, so then I've got parts and pieces for two more of each of these. And then these are the card bases. So we're gonna grab one of these. Oops, and then we've got this other pre-printed piece, right? And then we're gonna grab one of those. We've got a couple more card bases left. And then this is all ready to go too, right? Um, and they actually gave us extra, extra, because that's eight of them. I don't think I missed. Now I'm like, was I supposed to put one of these on the other? I'll have to look at the picture and see. I thought I did it right, but we will check that out. Okay, so all of this is just kind of extra that we will set aside that we don't need right now. So you kind of get the idea, right? It's a very, very simple. Okay, so let's make this card right here first, okay? So we're gonna grab our Calypso Coral ink. We've got our Here's to You stamp. Nice, easy, tap, tap, tap as always, right? We're gonna, I'm like, is that inked up? Press straight down, lift straight up, looking good there. The other thing that they did, can you see they um, stamped those little um, birds right there, so we're gonna do that. Grab my little birds, my flying birds. And where's that piece? I was thinking it was gonna be on here, but that's not right. We're gonna find that little yellow guy right there. Okay, and we're gonna just stamp those flying birds right on there, okay? And I did on the inside, so let's do that right now. So here's the, can you guys see? Kind of off, out of the grid here, and I need to get on my grid paper so I know. Okay, so we're gonna ink up, because I loved this stamp. Too, and we didn't actually use it on the projects, so I wanted to make sure to use it on the inside of that card too. Okay, so we're gonna close this baby up. Let's just scoot those out of the way too. <clears throat> okay, so now, now we can punch this little guy out. Okay, got that one. I was thinking we need these little babies also. So these all have dimensionals behind them as well. You've got your trees here, your little tree line. So we are going to be very careful working this out of here. Okay, there we go, we've got that one. <coughs> All right, now I'm gonna grab, so they give you the little mini dimensionals, which I think are awesome. So we're gonna use, and I actually use some of my bigger dimensionals too on some of the wider pieces. You can use either one, but these, like the trees, definitely need like little baby dimensionals, right? So we're gonna put a couple there and there. And then we've got that one, and that one. And actually is that, wait a minute, is this my sentiment? I want to actually not do that yet. We're gonna put these over here because I wanna put my twine behind here first. Let's do this one. Okay, we've got that one there. So these you have to be pretty good about lining up so they don't peek because this is a really narrow little piece right there. Okay, so this is the one though that I want to, did I, yep I did, okay, here we go. So we have all of those, right, just scoot that up. Okay, yep, so there's my sentiment. So if you guys can see, on here we wrap some twine behind the sentiment. So what I found was easiest was, I've got my adhesive, <clears throat> and I think, where are my directions? I should have mentioned that too. They always give you 
directions on how to make everything. So they give you this little pamphlet that kind of shows you the finished cards. Okay, good, I'm glad to see. So they gave us four of those little tree line scenes and they only go on those four cards. So I have four extra that we can use on something else then too. I was afraid maybe I missed it and didn't put them on those cards, but they're not on there. So then you can see they give you kind of step-by-step -step instructions on how to make the projects. They also do a video each month as well that shows you how to put your projects together. So if you miss the Facebook Live when I make these projects, you can always watch right online or if you wanna make them sooner because I might not make them as quickly as you might like to. The other cool thing is they give you a little ruler here too. So the one thing, this one was telling us to wrap 26 inches of linen thread around um, on this little um, sentiment piece. So we are gonna go ahead and do that. Let's measure out our 26 inches. Okay, so there is a nine, so then there is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, at eight is 26, okay? So we are going to just kinda snip that off right there. Oops. So now, what I was wanting to show you guys, because I think this is the easiest way for me, is to just add some adhesive on the back of this guy and then just start um, kind of looping this around, right? So we're gonna, I always say like kind of loop and tack it, okay? And just add it onto your adhesive right there. And I try to, I don't want it to be exactly the same. And the kind of cool thing is it's a little curly, so it kind of has a little life of its own, which I appreciate. Makes it look, you know, not totally perfect, right? And it kind of flits around as I'm trying to <laughs> do this, right? Because that's what's gonna happen. And we'll do one more, and then we can always trim off if we end up with a little more than we need, okay? So then what I wanna do is put some dimensionals, and that'll kind of, hold everything all right on there too. Okay, so I think we got that. Let's pull our card back into view so I don't screw it up, right? Okay, so we're gonna grab this one right here is our little clouds with our birds flying. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one maybe right about there. I think this is my other, yep, the other cloudy one. So just peel the dimension backing so you guys can see how kind of quick and easy and simple. And these are great gifts to give to people as well. Right, now we're gonna add our trees and our, oops, there's a little bit inside there. I need to work that out, oopsie. So you have to be careful. These are pretty delicate, right? I pulled all those off. Okay, we are gonna put Let's see, maybe those trees right about there, right? And then the other little green piece went down below, okay? So we're gonna put that one maybe right about there. And then lastly, we're gonna add this little guy. So yeah, this would be a great here's to you birthday card. Another great masculine kind of project and we're just gonna kind of trim that off a little bit right there, okay? So look at that, how simple that is, right? So you could whip four of those cards out very quickly and easily. Another, a great like camping trip, vacation, um, you know, going up north in the winter, just need a little something to do. These kits are awesome for that kind of an idea, right? Okay, so here is our next project. And I will tell you guys, I have one other fun thing I wanna show you. Um, once we're done making these projects, don't, don't hang up quite yet because I have one more thing. They actually gave us another little surprise treat in the Paper Pumpkin this month, kit this month. So I want to show you that also. Okay, so let's see. Actually, we'll just scoop these out of the way. You guys have really already seen the envelopes, right? But let's come back. We're going to do this one now. So I want to grab my little birds again because if you can see, we've got the little birds stamped right there. So we're gonna do little birds flying right there. And then, let's see, we already used that one. This is our little happy birthday. And then did I do, I must've done this on the other, yeah, okay. 
that I need for the other project I want to show you guys. Okay, so that's the only stamping you're going to do on that. Now, and this is a bit tricky. Where are my glasses? I'm going to try to do the best I can here. So this is a pretty teeny tiny happy birthday, but it's really, it's a sweet. So you got to fit it in. <laughs> and I did a decent job with like two out of three of them. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's see. It's moving on me. I got to hold it in place. All right, that one looks good. We got one more. Can I do it? All right, I think we did all right on all three of those. Okay, so we had that. I don't think I didn't stamp anything on the inside here because I thought I want to keep this one pretty masculine looking. Okay, <clears throat> so let's actually grab our twine and the directions. This time, I think, for this card, uh, it says 16 inches is what I need Actually, you know what? I did that wrong. I was thinking that looked like a lot of twine. So the 26 inches is actually for this card because you wrap it around three times. So I only needed 16 inches, so I probably used more than I needed on this card, but that's okay. I have extra linen thread, so whoops. Okay, so this time I need 26 to wrap around my card. Okay, so we're just going to use this thing. So we're going to go 13 and 13 makes our 26. Okay. All right, so we've got this base right here. And they actually um, tied this in the back. I kind of liked having that little um, knot on the front of my card. You can do it on the front or the back. So uh, let's see. So if we start, we just need like a little bit to tie it in our knot. Okay, and I can always move this over once I tie it up here. Okay, are we getting that through? There we go. Yeah, because I kind of want it over. So you can see how I'm going to kind of, um, you don't want to pull too hard because you will rip it, right? So I think if you kind of curl it up a little bit, it makes it easier to move this over where you want it. And I want that to kind of show there, right? Okay, so we can just kind of trim those little babies off. Okay, now we can, I think this was on dimensionals, yep. We're gonna put some dimensionals back behind this piece. <coughs> it needs some more water. <laughs> so again, you can see how quick and simple and easy these paper pumpkin projects are. And they are generally all, you know, fairly simple like this, which is fun. Um, again, great gift idea, great for kids. Actually, next month's kit is super duper cute. It looks like um, like summertime um, popsicles. Um, and they said that that particular kit, so we're talking about the April kit, is really um, designed with kids, you know, your kids, your grandkids, nieces, nephews, um, you know, just as like a fun project to do this spring or summer or if you're just a kid at heart, right? Which many, many of us are, okay? All right, so we're gonna peel these. Hello, Tammy. That's okay, you can always go back and watch the beginning later. That's the beauty, right, of these being on Facebook Live. They're here for forever, as long as I post it that way. <laughs> yes, so yeah, you can um, pop back on and um, you know go get your paper pumpkin kit and then um, just follow along with me and put your kit together too. Yeah, I was saying that I'm tired of the red box pile up. So I was like, you know, I want to show you guys these projects anyway, because they're always really fabulous. So why not just put a paper pumpkin kit together every once in a while on a Facebook Live, right? So I'm going to put another... I just kind of scattered those around a little bit, those little happy birthdays, right? So how about that? Aren't those so quick, simple? You could make eight of those cards really, really quickly, don't you think? I've got a bit of a mess here, but I always do when I'm stamping and creating, I feel like. Um, but the other thing, okay, I have to show you guys because I think this was so fun too, was, actually here, back up, what I want to show you. So this was the extra little thingy they gave us. These were um, little stencils. So I'm gonna show you the stencils, I'm gonna show you some ideas, and then I'm gonna show you a card that I made with one of these stencils, which was actually this 
kind of star sunburst stencil. So they gave us that one. And then, and I was, I was kind of confused when I first went to put the kit together. I thought that the projects would include using these and they didn't. So then I was like, okay, well, I wanted to show you guys these. And then I'm like, I got to show you how to play with these stencils too. So we've got a starry night, got some kind of mountain. Which way does it go? I'd say that way, mountains, and then some clouds, right? Aren't those fun? So yeah, four different little stencils. Let me show you. These are some other project ideas. So they've got this. The adventure continues. Make even more mountain magic with this month's kit and coordinating stencil set. And so they give you these project ideas. So I kind of use this as a jumping off point for the card that I'm going to show you guys in just a sec. And then they also have this little let's celebrate you with the stencil used those little stars. And then here's this one too, which can you see? So they actually did some more um, the stenciling right with the mountains back there. And then it looks like they kind of flipped those extra trees over and kind of sponged them in a green color too. So isn't that cool? Um, I had some other notes. Oh, I know. One thing I wanted to tell you guys was they, at the Paper Pumpkin Facebook page, they tell you step by step in exact detail how to make these exact projects. So that is very cool. And then as well on the directions for the Paper Pumpkin card. So if, for example, you're like, ah, I like this card, but you know, I don't know if I need four of them, you can find other alternate ideas. Actually, they're back here. Um, right here, it'll say do more with this month's paper pumpkin kit, right? And they they show you, and that's not going to zoom in super well, but this is what I was talking about where they use the envelope liner as designer series paper. So they gave you these three little project ideas. And again, at paper pumpkin, the Facebook page, they tell you step by step exactly how to make these projects too. So the beauty of these kits, you can make them exactly as they're intended. Paper Pumpkin will give you other ideas, Stampin' Up! through Paper Pumpkin, or other demonstrators are always doing lots of other fabulous things with these kits as well. So there's no shortage of ideas um, of things to do with your Paper Pumpkin kit, okay? So with all of that being said, let me show you. I just have to check my notes though, right? Okay, I did that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, so this is the project that I made, again, very similar to this one right here, right? You can kind of see, very similar, right? I just wanted to use some fun, bright colors instead. So I want to show you how I did the stamping and stenciling, because it also includes my favorite Pretty Perennial stamp set that is going to be retiring. Now, that will actually not retire until... Um, the January to June mini catalog retires, which is until the end of June. So you still have some time to get to that stamp set because I absolutely love it. Okay, so I started in this case, this is a, let me make sure, but I think it's a, yeah, three and three quarters by five piece of basic white cardstock, okay? And then we are gonna grab this piece. Yeah, so this is my pretty perennial stamp set too. I'll show you that in just a sec with the stamping that we're gonna do there. Okay. <laughs> All right. I need my bumblebee ink is my color. So I wanna kind of try to make sure I have this set up, but I think that's good, right? I was trying to, here, if we line it up and do, yeah, that's about right. Okay, so I did do it pretty much right up at the top. So you can use um, like painter's tape or washi tape or something to kind of hold this in place. In this case, I just used my hand because I'm not gonna even um, use the stencil on the bottom. So I'm just kind of going from the top half. The other thing that I wanna show you guys is, um, and they show you like, so they send you, they send us one of these sponges. And what you do is you can make actually four sponges out of it. So just with your scissors, you can kind of cut it in half and then in a quarter, right? So you, you can do this, I would say, with like four different colors of ink, right? So that's how you start with your sponge, right? What I love to do is actually label them. So I put them in like a little baggie. I put the name, the color name, and then I also include um, a little thing on the top here too with, so for example, this is Bumblebee cardstock. So I just clipped that right on there, and then I know 
um, that's my little sponge for bumblebee ink. Okay, so now the big thing is to not let this move, but the stencils are really fun. And I just kind of blotted on here. I found if I rubbed, then I kind of went like underneath the stencil. So you don't want to do that, right? So we're just going to kind of, and you can make this as intense or not as you want. The other thing is if you lift it up and you realize, oh, I want it to be a little bit darker, you can, you know, lay it back down, line it up, and be able to add more ink to it. But you, can you see, so I'm just kind of dabbing. I am in view, right? Yep. <laughs> I'm so intent. I do this all the time. I'm always so intent on what I'm doing that I'm not sure. Am I showing you guys? Yeah, okay, so there's that. Actually, I am gonna make that one full. I couldn't remember whether I brought that one down all the way or not, but we are going to. There, okay, so we're gonna lift that up off of there and check that out. Isn't that cool how well this works? Now, the other fabulous thing about these is you just take it to your sink and let water run on it and it cleans it right off. So it's super simple to clean also, okay? So there was your bumblebee. Okay, let's do the rest of the stamping just because I think, like, I love these colors so much. So I was trying to decide, am I gonna show you that or not? But we still have a couple minutes, so let's do it, okay? All right, let's scoot this stuff out of the way. Okay. Oh, I've got my little bring to card class. Okay. I knew I had a couple of notes and I hadn't really run into them, so I'm like, okay, I feel like I had more than one, but maybe that was the only one. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I'll find out when I get to class and somebody says, ah, do you have the blah, blah, blah? And then that's when I'm going to say, oh, I must have missed that note at home. Okay, so, <laughs> Amy, focus. Okay, let's grab those. I need one more little clear box. I'm trying to get that situated. Okay, so these are all stamps from my most favorite, that pretty perennial stamp set that is retiring, again, not till the end of June, so you've got lots of time still. Although I say that, like order it now if you want it, get it now, because it's so fun to play with too. So, okay, we used, um, this is Magenta Madness first. So I'm gonna ink up that little flower there. We'll do one there, and we'll do one down there, okay? Next, we are going to use Pretty Peacock ink, and we're gonna fill in those little babies. I love, I don't think I'm getting rid of this stamp set. Many of my um, stamp sets that retire, I do get rid of, but <laughs> there's something about these flowers that I love. So Pretty Peacock ink. There, one of our retiring in colors. Hopefully you have this already because I think it's already sold out. Um, we're gonna use Granny Apple Green now. Okay, I'm gonna remember, I'm trying to like peel my little sticky off. Okay, there we go. All right, we got that. Okay, so let's see. We've got these little guys. I got all distracted, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use like the little stemmy things right here and right here and one more right there. Okay, now our little leaf guy, right? We're gonna do this one. We're gonna do that one. One more there. And I don't know, I feel like I need one more somewhere, maybe right about there. Okay, um, is that it? I think that's it, yeah. So that's the basic idea with the stamping. All I did at this point was, we'll grab our sentiment, because I love, well, I'll show you guys, right? All the best for a happy, healthy, and prosperous year. And this is one of those, not very easy to see. You can see it's one of in the paper pumpkin um, kit, right, is that, all the best for a happy, healthy, and prosperous year. And then there's another one. Let me get my glasses on. Let's see if I can read this one for you guys. May your journey through life take you to many new and exciting places. Oh, that's awesome. That'd be great, like for graduation, for a graduation card. 
And then we've got this little congratulations. So these could be graduation cards too. You could use these paper pumpkin um, kits for graduation cards too. That would be awesome. I didn't even think about that. But that sentiment's great with the little congratulations. That'd be fun. Instead of here, you could do, why didn't I think of that? You could do congratulations right here. And then that other sentiment kind of relating to graduation. Ooh, that's what, ooh, ooh. I know I'm going to need lots of graduation cards this year and next year. So that would be great too. So, okay. So anyway, those are the little sentiments on there too. So I think we'll kind of call it good. I'll tell you guys, I mean, this was so simple, but basically this is a piece of Magenta Madness cardstock. So it's um, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Pop this piece on here. Before you do that though, you're going to wrap some of the white polka dot tool ribbon around it, tie it in a bow, stamp your sentiment, pop it on there with some dimensionals, and then add your in color dots. And that's it. So, but I really wanted to show you the stencil because I think that is so fun to be able to play with those stencils too. Something different kind of in your stamping repertoire, right? So with all of that being said, let me just kind of scoot this stuff out of the way. Can I do that? Is there room to make room here? Do, 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 do. Recap, here we go. So you guys all know the drill, right? But let me just make sure. So if you put an online order in of at least $30, using this host code, the VXEX2AED, you are actually gonna get all three of these projects sent to you as a thank you from me as well. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win one of my most favorite stamp sets, the Lovely You stamp set. And you bump your order up to $50 and you get to pick from wherever those pastel pearls went. I don't know where they are or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. Here are the pearls. Are they? Nope, I don't know, wherever they went. So $50 order, the pearls or the tutorial you get as well as a thank you. So thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out with me today, enjoying Paper Pumpkin. If you are interested in signing up for Paper Pumpkin, just go to paperpumpkin.com. It's $22 per month. You get, in this case, you've got eight projects with those cute envelopes. You get the stamp set, you get the ink, you get extra parts and pieces that you can make other things with. You get lots of other great ideas, just so much fun. You get stencils last month too. The other cool thing is if you fell in love with this kit, a lot of times once you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can order past Paper Pumpkin kits as well. So go ahead, sign up. You'll be right on the deadline. You got to sign up by tomorrow, April 10th to get the April kit. Okay. So thanks so much for watching, hanging out with me today, guys. I hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you soon. Bye everybody. Thank you.